This is a school timetable which I have created in Excel. Before creating the new format, let's see how it works. In the extreme left hand side, we have got our classes. On the top, we have got our periods. I have taken from 1st to 8th period. Below that, we have got our time. I have taken start time as 9 am and duration of each class will be half an hour. Below that, we have got our subjects and teacher's name. When we will click on subject, drop down will be visible and from the drop down, we can select our subjects. I'll select English and name of the teacher got visible. Means I have assigned Albert in class 6th. If I'll go to class 7th and will click on drop down, the subject English is not visible because I have already assigned Albert English teacher in class 6th. And for each subject, I have got just one teacher. If I'll select any other subject from here, means I have assigned Asthan social science in class 6th. When I'll come to class 7th, and will click on drop down, the subject English got visible. In case Albert wants to continue in next period also, we can select from here English. Now in any other class, we can't assign Albert. So we will have to select any other subject. In case you want to change start time, you will have to go to setting sheet. And over here, we have got school open time. Just click on drop down and select desired time. In case you want to change the duration of the period, it can be changed from here. Currently, it's for 30 minutes. I'll go to setting sheet and we'll do it 40 minutes. Enter. We'll go back to my timetable. And here we can see the duration of each period got changed. And again, the opening time is changed. To create this format, we will need some data. And the data is teacher's name and subject's name, school open time and period duration. Based on teacher's name and subject, we will create subject wise class teacher. There will be total three sheets in this format. First one will be setting sheet, which we can see right now. Second will be filtered list. We will create filtered list based on class wise teacher or subject wise class teacher. Let's start creating a new format now. I have opened a new workbook. We'll rename the sheet as settings. We'll take data of settings from my example file. We'll copy this control C or command C and we'll go in my blank format. We'll paste over here, control V or command V. We'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. We'll delete all the things from here. We'll delete school open time and period duration also. So in extreme left hand side, we have got teacher's name and subjects. School open time. We will create drop down for this. We'll go to data, data validation. From here, we will select list. Source. I'll start from 7 a.m. 7, 7.30, 8, 830. In the same way, I'll insert the time till 2 p.m. For 1 p.m., I'll put 13. And we'll do OK. So my drop down list got created. I'll select 7. And we can see 7 a.m. over here. Period duration, whatever you want to put, you can. I'll put 30. Enter. Subjects. I'll copy all the subjects from here. Control C or Command C. And we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. Here we will put our classes. I'll use the function of Roman plus or equal to Roman bracket open. I'll put six bracket close enter. So we got six over here. We'll drag this to end. We'll click in each class. We'll go to formula bar and we'll change the number from here. Seven, eight, nine, and this will be 10. Enter. Now we will put name of teachers over here, English. Control C or Command C, we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. Social Science, Control C or Command C, and we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. In the same way, we will paste name of all the teachers. So all the things are done. In case you want to use X lookup or V lookup, you can. So our setting sheet is ready now. We'll insert another sheet. This will be filtered list. We'll take column A closer. We'll click on B4, serial number. Period 1. Enter. We'll select the whole row and we'll change the font style. We'll align all the things in center. We'll click on period 1 and we'll drag till period 4. We will leave this blank. This will be for lunch break. We'll copy this, Control C or Command C and we'll paste over here. Control V or Command V. We'll do this, period 5. Enter. We'll drag this till period 8. Perfect. We'll take column G closer. Serial number 1, enter, we'll drag this till 10. We'll click on serial number, we'll press shift control, down arrow key, right arrow key. 
and we'll create borders. We'll click on B2 and we'll select till end and we'll merge this together. This will be teacher and period details. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font style. We'll increase the font size. We'll go to view and we'll remove the grid lines. We'll take row one closer. We'll take row number three closer. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. We'll click on teacher and period details and we'll insert borders. Over here, we will put our lunch break. I'll change the color. Perfect. The outline is ready now, but we can't insert our formulas. We will insert our formulas over here later on. We'll insert another sheet and this will be timetable. We'll take column A closer. We'll click on B4. This will be classes. Enter. We'll click on classes and we'll select next cell also and we'll merge this together. We'll drag this down. We'll delete classes from here. Plus or equal to Roman bracket open. We'll put six bracket close. Enter. So we can see class six over here. We we'll select classes and class six and we'll put some color. We'll insert borders. We'll drag this till class 10th. This is sixth. This will be seventh, eighth, ninth, and this will be tenth. We'll delete this. We'll take column C closer. This will be periods. Time, enter, period one. We'll drag this till four. We'll leave this blank for break. We'll click over here. Five, six, seven, and this will be eight. Perfect. We'll come to left. Time, plus or equal to, we'll go to my setting sheet and we'll click on school open time. Enter. We can't see time format over here. We'll click over here and we'll select few extra cells. We'll press control one. We'll go to time and we'll select a desired time format and we'll do OK. Now we can see 7 a.m. over here. Whenever we will change the time in setting sheet, if I'll do it eight and we'll go back to my timetable, time got changed over here also. Now I'll click on second period and the formula will be plus or equal to We'll click on opening time plus time bracket open hour. We will put zero over here, comma, minute. We'll go to our setting sheet and we'll click on period duration. We'll press F4 or function F4 and the cell will be logged, comma, second. We will put zero over here. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We can see 8.30 a.m. over here now. We'll drag this till end. After 9.30 a.m., we can see 12.30 a.m. So we'll click over here. We'll go to formula bar and we'll copy our formula from time. Control C or command C. We'll come to the end. Plus, we will paste the formula what we have copied right now. Control V or command V. And we will hit enter. We will go to formula bar once again. And we'll remove first cell reference. That is I5. We'll delete this. And we'll click on 9.30 a.m. Means fourth period time. Enter. Now all the things got changed properly. We'll select all the heads and we'll create borders. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font color. Over here also, we will put some color and we'll change the font color. For each class, there will be two cells. One for subjects and second for teacher's name. I'll put subject, teacher's name. Enter. We'll adjust the column size. We'll highlight subjects in gray. Now we will select subject and teacher's name. We'll select till end. We'll create borders. We'll copy this, control C or command C, and we'll paste over here, control V or command V. Spelling of teacher is wrong. I'll change this, enter. We'll copy this once again, and we'll paste over here, control V or command V. Perfect. We'll go to view, and we'll remove the grid lines. We'll come to right hand side. We'll leave column N blank. We'll take this closer. We'll click just in front of eight, and we'll select till end. We'll go to home and we'll merge this together. We'll put some color over here. We'll change the font style. We'll increase the font size. This will be school over. Enter. We'll click over here and we'll create borders. We'll go to orientation and we'll select rotate text up. We'll increase the font size. Perfect. We'll come to left. Now I'll click on B2 and we'll select till end. We'll merge this together. We'll put some color. We'll change the font color. We'll change the font style. We'll increase the font size. We'll take row three closer and we'll take 
रो नंबर वन क्लोजर विल पुट ब्लू कलर ओवर हियर विल चेंज द फॉन्ट कलर एज वाइट दिस विल बी स्कूल टाइम टेबल एंटर विल इंक्रीज द फॉन्ट साइज परफेक्ट विल क्रिएट बॉर्डर्स विल कॉपी दिस कंट्रोल सी और कमांड सी एंड विल पेस्ट ओवर हियर कंट्रोल वी और कमांड वी विल अलाइन द टेक्स इन लेफ्ट विल डिक्रीज द फॉन्ट साइज दिस विल बी नोट्स और इंस्ट्रक्शंस इन केस यू वॉन्ट टू पुट समथिंग ओवर हियर यू कैन विल इंक्रीज द रो साइज विल टेक दिस क्लोजर परफेक्ट सो आउटलाइन इज रेडी नाउ लेट्स गो बैक टू आवर फिल्टर्ड लिस्ट नाउ वी कैन पुट आवर फॉर्मूलाज ओवर हियर एंड द फॉर्मूला विल बी प्लस और इक्वल टू फिल्टर ब्रैकेट ओपन आर ए वी विल गो टू आवर सेटिंग शीट एंड वी सेलेक्ट ऑल द सब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम विल प्रेस फंक्शन एफ फोर और एफ फोर एंड द रेंज विल बी लॉक्ड कॉमा काउंट इफ ब्रैकेट ओपन विल गो टू टाइम टेबल एंड विल सेलेक्ट फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम विल प्रेस एफ फोर और फंक्शन एफ फोर टू टाइम्स एंड द डॉलर विल बी इंसर्टेड इन द सेंटर कॉमा विल गो टू सेटिंग शीट एंड विल सेलेक्ट सब्जेक्ट वंस अगेन फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम विल प्रेस फंक्शन एफ फोर और एफ फोर एंड द रेंज विल बी लॉक्ड ब्रैकेट क्लोज इज इक्वल टू zero we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we got our first filtered list we'll adjust the column size now we will drag this perfect we'll select all the columns and we'll adjust the column size we'll come to left we'll delete our filtered list from here because this will be lunch break we'll adjust column size over here so our filtered list got created now we will come to time table we'll click on subject i'll press control and we we'll select all the subjects in case you are using macbook you will have to press command we'll go to data data validation from here i'll select list source we'll go to my filtered list and we'll select first filtered list from top to bottom and we'll do okay so my filtered list got created i'll select english if i'll click over here i'm not able to see english if i'll delete english from here the subject english got visible over here now now i'll click on second period we'll press control or command and we'll select all the subjects means subjects for all the classes we'll go to data data validation from here i'll select list source we'll go to my filtered list and we'll select list of period 2 from top to bottom and we'll do okay so over here also our filtered list got created perfect we'll delete this in the same way we will create our drop down list till period 8 so all the drop downs got created now we will come in our first period we we'll select one subject from here we'll click in front of teacher's name and we'll insert our formula formula will be plus or equal to index bracket open ra we'll go to my setting sheet and we'll select subjects and classes along with teacher's name we'll press f4 or function f4 and the range will be locked comma match bracket open we'll go to time table and we'll click on first subject we'll press f4 or function f4 two times comma we'll go to settings once again and we'll select all the subjects from top to bottom we'll select heading also we'll press f4 or function f4 and the range will be locked comma zero for exact match bracket close comma match bracket open we will go to time table and we we'll click on class when we clicked on class we can see the range from b6 to b7 because i have merged two cells over here so i'll delete b7 from here we'll press f4 or function f4 three times comma we will go to setting sheet and we we'll select all the heads we'll press f4 or function f4 and the range will be locked comma 0 for exact match we'll close the bracket till bracket doesn't get black but before hitting enter we will insert the criteria of if error if error bracket open will come to the end comma double inverted comma twice for blank we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so we can see teacher's name now when i change the subject teacher's name got changed i'll adjust the column size now i'll click on teacher's name we'll copy this control c or command c and we'll paste over here control v or command v over here also we can see asthan means name of social science teacher we'll go to formula bar and in the center we can see e6 
which is cell reference of this one first subject we'll delete this and we'll click over here means 8 this is 8 i'll put 8 enter i'll select few subjects now i'll click over here control c or command c and we'll paste over here control v or command v we'll go to formula bar we'll delete e8 and we'll click over here we'll press function f4 or f4 two times enter computer science we'll copy this control c or command c and we'll paste over here control v or command v we'll go to formula bar we'll delete 10 and we'll put 12 means cell reference of class 8th enter over here also i'll copy the formula control c or command c and we'll paste over here control v or command v we'll go to formula bar we'll delete 12 and we'll put 14 enter perfect now i'll drag this till end we'll do same thing for all the classes perfect we'll adjust the column size we'll click just after fourth period we'll select till end we'll go to home and we'll merge this together we'll put some color over here we'll change the font color this will be lunch break enter we'll go to home and we'll change the orientation rotate text up we'll increase the font size we'll reduce the column size we'll reduce column size over here also so all the drop downs and formulas got inserted now you can adjust column size as per your requirement so this format got created through filter function in case you don't have filter function let's see what can be done i'll go to filtered list once again we'll come to left we'll copy this control c or command c and we'll paste over here we'll delete all the things we'll go on top and we'll click just under first period we'll copy our formula from end we'll copy from count if control c or command c we'll come over here plus or equal to if bracket open and we will paste the formula what we have copied right now control v or command v we'll delete bracket from end comma we'll go to our setting sheet we'll come to left and we'll select subjects from here comma double inverted comma twice for blank we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so our filtered list got created we will have to lock the range over here we'll go to formula bar and we'll press f4 or function f4 and the range will be locked enter now we will drag this till end we'll go to timetable and we'll create copy of this we'll go to first period we'll go to data data validation we'll delete this range and we'll select this range means the range what we have created right now and we'll do ok and your format will be ready so in case you don't have filter function you can use this formula now one thing is pending and that is lunch break we will go to home and we'll merge this this will be lunch break enter we'll go to home and we'll change the orientation rotate text up we'll copy this control c or command c and we'll paste over here control v or command v and the format is ready now i'll provide link of this file in description box in case you want to download you can but the download option is only for channel members you can join the channel membership to download the file i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye